Hey Hodinky, uh, my name is Nick. I'm from Philadelphia, uh, originally from New Jersey. Um, please forgive the uh, the quarantine hair. I had to uh, give myself a haircut, so we're we're working through that. But uh, what brings me on today is a watch that has significance to me, um, and that is the one that I'm wearing today. Uh, this is my late grandfather's uh, Rolex date from about 78, 79, somewhere in that range. Uh, it's a 1500 serial. And um, it originally came on a riveted uh, oyster bracelet, um, which I still have. I just swapped it out for a newer style one. Um, it's a, it works a little bit better for me uh, as an everyday watch. Um, but yeah, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a classic piece. It's, it's gorgeous and um, it works very well with, with things. But um, the story behind this watch is an interesting one, I, I think. Um, so my grandparents... Uh, immigrated here, uh, immigrated to New York from China in 1974. Um, you know, they started a family, they opened a Chinese restaurant, and I guess at some point my grandfather felt he had reached a certain level of success um, to go out and pick this up. Um, and I think he paid around between two to three hundred dollars, I'm not sure. Um, if any of you might know, um, please comment because I'm, I'm just curious to know. Um, I think that would be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, this watch, um, he wore every day. Uh, he would have worn it in the kitchen cooking. He would have worn it, um, in the dining room greeting people. Um, you know, this was very much his, his daily beater, so to speak. Um, so fast forward a couple years, um, he passed away in the early nineties when I was uh, about five years old. Um, and my grandmother had held on to this watch, um, for me. And she gave it to me when I was in the sixth grade, about 11 years old. Uh, questionable decision made by her to do that. But um, I held on to it um, for I had 10, 15 years. And, um, you know, as I got older, I started to develop a, a passion and an interest uh, in watches. And, um, you know, I'll never forget she gave it to me in a little Crown Royal bag. Um, like so many valuables are always given to people in. Um, and you know, the watch was, was, uh, was very well worn. It wasn't working, um, pretty scratched up. So I sent it out and I had it, um, brought back and came back like new. Um, so now it's, you know, it's my everyday piece. Um, and you know, I really enjoy wearing it and it, it has a lot of significance to me. Um, funny story. Uh, my grandmother told me that when my grandfather passed away, she actually buried him with another Rolex that he had, uh, which was a, a gold day date. And, uh, you know, uh, yet another questionable decision made by my grandmother. Why would you bury him with that watch? Um, but she said she did. And, uh, you know, if that's true, I, I have considered exhuming his body to see if the watch is still there. Um, and if it is, uh, look out for that video because that'll be the watch that I'm talking about next. Um, Anyhow, a little funny story I thought I'd share. Um, but thank you guys for, for listening, and um, stay happy and, and stay healthy.